Hey, it's Greg Torres. I'm in Buttercup Valley here in Cincinnati, and I came across an interesting plant. One that you'll see basically everywhere on the East Coast if you're looking for it. Um, everywhere from the plains of like Canada, all the way down through like the Atlantic coast on the East Coast. Uh, anywhere from the prairies all the way into the forests if, if the habitat is, is good enough. So the plant I'm talking about is this one here. It's kind of tall. It's about up to my hip high. You see it's got this long stalk, these very serrated leaves, right? The leaves, again, they're sheathing. They sheath the stem that they're on. Like that. Serrated. The flowers are in this umbel. It's actually a small umbels of umbels. So this is an umbiliform. Oftentimes characteristic of the carrot family of plants, which is, is an Apiaceae family of plants. This plant is called Golden Alexander. ZZ Aria. I guess it's named after another German botanist. Uh, the last name of Ziz. So again, you can see it's a number of very small flowers blooming all at the same time. This encourages insects to move from one flower to another and start to cross-pollinate it. This plant is a great ecological plant because it serves as the host plant for the black swallowtail butterfly. And also the Ozark swallowtail butterfly. Additionally, there's a native species of insect, an Andrina bee. Andrina zizia, I think, zizia, which is an olegaletic bee, and it requires the pollen of this plant. It only eats the pollen from this plant. So without this plant, you lose that bee as well. So you've got three butterflies, or two butterflies, and an, a bee that depend on this particular plant. So again, I'm in the woods, right in a sunny location. But you'll find this plant sometimes even in the prairies or meadows as well. A number of insects visit this and I've already seen several small bees on it. Here's even a fly on it currently. And actually flies are used to pollinate carrots, our cultivated carrots, because the flowers are very accessible to flies. Being small and shallow, the flies can just kind of sop up the nectar with their strange little mouth part. This plant serves well in the garden as well. It's kind of a structural plant, a little bit taller, but again, uh, essential if you're gonna plant a butterfly garden as a host plant for the black swallowtail butterfly.